I'm happy to share with you my new creation with Umqua Feather Merchants, and that is the Mini Leech Jig Damsel. For those who fish still waters and rivers alike, you realize during the course of the summer season, eventually the fish go in a feeding frenzy, and it looks literally like a killer whale trying to attack its food. These fish are spraying water everywhere, chasing these swimming damsels in water that can be as shallow as six inches. The cool thing about this fly, just like with the mini leech jig, is that you can place it in shallow water below indicators and dry flies, and it's unbelievable just how effective it truly is. The pattern starts with a 60 degree jig hook, the XT500 from Umqua. We're also gonna use a green radiant slotted tungsten bead. Now the one thing we'll add to this, and most importantly to represent the damsel, are the eyes. So for the eyes, we're going to use extra small mono eyes from Hairline. To start the design, I'm simply going to do two to three wraps of thread right behind the eye of the hook, break that flush, and then do one or two secure more. I'll then grab the small, extra small mono eyes, and I'm going to place them on my side of the hook shank and perform one wrap, a second wrap, and then turn the eyes and figure eight around the eyes. And this is going to be a way to secure the eyes, again, to represent the damsel and to give it a very unique look. Now, instead of continuing the design, I'm simply at this point going to grab the whip finish tool and I'm going to whip finish off the eyes, making sure that everything is secure and that I have the eyes in place because we are going to eventually supply Loctite super glue. So I'm gonna come back, whip finish with two wraps, right, Underneath the eyes, grab the scissors, cut that tag in fairly flush. I'm then going to come back with small wire and I'm going to supply one or two drops of Loctite super glue, securing the eyes down on both sides. That way we know the eyes are flush and I'll do one more just to be safe below. Making sure everything's secure and eventually when that dries, it's gonna secure the eyes and add more durability to the fly. I'll then grab, open up the jaws, make sure that everything is flush, and I'm gonna place the hook down level. And then I'm going to slide the tungsten bead up to directly behind the eyes. And you can see what we've developed here. Now we have the mono eyes represent the damsel eyes, and then we have the bead that slid forward. And when the bead comes forward, eventually we're going to disguise that in the design and make of this fly. I'll then come back with my thread, and I'm gonna build up a nice even path behind the bead to secure it down. Again, I want it as flush as possible against the eyes. And then I'll wrap using the tag end of thread elevated up at an angle of 45 degrees, get nice, secure, even and symmetrical wraps all the way towards the bend. I'll then grab the tag end, break that flush here. Then I'll come in with crystal flash. Now I'm a fan of using peacock color crystal flash here. And again, we're trying to build up some sheen and shine on the body but we don't want this to be overkill. So I'll grab a piece about three to four inches in length. I'm going to bend that around the thread, elevate the thread up and slide this down to the hook shank. I'll then secure wrap on top of that moving back two or three times and then wrap that forward towards the bead. Again, building up a smooth runway and then stopping. From here, we're just going to trade off using the thumb and index on both dominant and non-dominant fingers. And I'm gonna wrap this evenly moving forward all the way towards the bead and just building up a nice, even, clean, green segmented body. We want this to be as flush and clean as possible. It's not all going to be shown, just enough to add enough sheen and attracting shine for the fish to see it as they're swimming the shallows. I'll do three loose wraps. I'm gonna cut that flush towards the hook shank, wrap forward. Get all the tag ends down, again, building up that nice, smooth, clean runway. I'm gonna bring this back a little bit further and I'm gonna leave a little bit of sheen and shine, but not a ton. And then I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna grab some resin. And with one or two drops of resin, I'm going to paint that over the body. I'm building, just building up a nice, even, secure base. You can do it on both sides, top and bottom. Come back with my light, hit that. Secure that down. And once I hit this and secure it down, I then know that I have flash and a durable body because again, these are gonna be very aggressive strikes. Then I'll come back with another piece of my favorite material, the micro pine squirrel. 
And I'm gonna leave this relatively long just to show that you can add length to this fly just to represent a lot of movement. So I'm gonna grab this piece. Again, I'm making sure that the skin is cleaned and I'm trying to match the distance behind the bead as much as possible. This is gonna extend a little bit further back than we have on the mini leech jig or the mini leech, but I'm simply gonna flip the skin like we did before, place this on top of the hook shank behind the bead, perform one loose wrap, give that little mohawk a hairdo. For those of you like myself who lost their hair when they took a shower at the age of 18, this is a chance to give yourself a hairdo. We're gonna wrap that skin forward towards the bead and try to build up a nice, smooth, even runway, enough to where we can secure and also get movement from the ostrich when we supply it later. Now at this point in the design, if you have any stragglers, anything left over, you can always cut those clean. We're going to move the fly upside down. So I'm gonna take it out of the jaws, I'm gonna flip it, place it back in, and that way we're building the rest of the fly from below. We can't do this from above. So I'm gonna secure wrap back a couple more times and we're gonna build up a nice even thorax and legs representing the legs here of a lot of your swimming damsels. So at this point, I'm going to grab one piece of pre-cut D-skin and olive and I'm going to place that on top of the hook shank. I want it to be flush right underneath the hook point. So right there you can see I needed to make an adjustment. If you need to make any adjustments, now's the time. I'm gonna wrap that forward towards the bead, wrap this back, securing it two to three times to where it's nice and flush against the back or what's gonna be the back of the thorax of the damsel. I'm then also gonna do the same thing here with a piece of pearl tensile and large, Vivas pearl tensile. I'm gonna build this up as well, making sure that I wrap this on top of the Hook shank, when the hook is upside down, wrapping this forward towards the bead, and then wrapping all the way back again towards the bend. So we have tensile in front of the D skin. And then we're gonna come back here with another piece of my favorite material, and that is the ostrich. We'll grab a piece of olive ostrich hurl, make sure that we've cleaned it off. And again, we want the spine facing the eye of the hook, the material facing the bend. Any leftover stragglers, grab them clean. So I'm gonna place this with one loose wrap, make sure that it's all facing forward, spine towards the eye, wrap this towards the bead itself, then I'll come back with the ostrich, and I'm gonna wrap this nice and smooth, even wraps moving towards the eye of the hook. And in doing this, you just wanna secure every wrap and make sure you're building up the legs, nice and clean, nice and even towards the bead. And you can see it's a little bit longer than what we do with the mini leech jig or the mini leech. And the reason for that is you're trying to maximize the representation of legs. Once I get to this point, I'll then secure wrap down with one loose wrap, followed by two or three secured wraps. I wanna make sure all the material's flush, nice and clean. I'll cut that tag in fairly close, blowing it if you need to. Cut any stragglers out, a lot of this will be covered up. I'll then grab that tensile, and I'm gonna move the tensile over the top, grab the thread, and work it around the bead and the tensile. So I'll do one loose wrap, a second loose wrap, and then I'm going to secure this down twice. And you can see by doing that, I'm adding a nice bit of flash, and I'll leave a little bit longer tag end, and then we'll move the fly a little bit and clean off any stragglers right behind the eye on both sides, just to make sure it's nice and clean. Nice, clean representation of legs. So after doing that, here's the secret. So I wanna disguise the bead at this point in the design. And the reason I came up with the idea to disguise the bead is that I wanna make sure everything's secure and clean, but I wanna make sure it represents the head and the body of the damsel. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the skin, pull it over the top of the eye of the hook, turn the vise and make sure it's measured out correctly. At this point, I'm going to switch to my non-dominant hand and I'm gonna pull down and then use my finger to push up. I'll grab my dominant index finger and with my fingernail, I'm gonna scrape right on top of the eye of the hook. And by scraping here, you get a little jump in movement. You can see that eventually that eye feeds through. Then I'll come back and perform one loose wrap here, which secures the back of the fly down. And then I'm gonna turn 
and then secure wrap behind the bead and underneath. And by doing that, I basically build up the head of the fly. So you can see that one wrap, I'll come back and do a second wrap. I'm then going to come in with the whip finish tool. I'm gonna to secure wrap here twice, once, twice. Secure that down, flush. I'll grab that tight, cut that fairly close right against the D-skin. I'm gonna then grab a small piece of wire, dip it in Loctite super glue, and I'm gonna place it right on top of the thread and the hook shank there. If you have any stragglers, just try to get those off and free. Nice smooth wipe there. Then I'm gonna turn and do the same thing on the back and underneath. So back and underneath, I'm gonna wipe, make sure I get Loctite super glue in there. I'll grab the scissors, cut that D-skin all the way down and flush, turn it back over, and you can see how that represents the legs of the damsel. So now you have the moving legs of the damsel, the extension of the body. And the cool thing about this design when you look at the head is the head represents the eyes and the thorax of the fly. And then you still have the tungsten bead underneath, semi-disguised. And then to complete the fly, I'll come in with a Copic marker and olive, and I'll mark up the eyes. So I'm gonna do one little dot on this side and do the same with the little dot on the opposite side. And that is the mini leech jig damsel.